This case was one of the last major Australian appeals to the Privy Council in the UK. The dispute arose from the BP refinery on Crib Point south of Melbourne. As part of the deal between BP, the Victorian Government and the Shire of Hastings, a rates agreement locked in the refinery's rates for 40 years. A few years later, BP restructured and the refinery went from a company called BP Refinery Western Port Proprietary Limited to a company simply called BP Australia Limited. The Shire of Hastings said, We have a rates agreement with BP Re Refinery Western Port Proprietary Limited, not with BP Australia Limited, so we're going to do a normal rates assessment and instead of owing us $50,000, you will owe us $150,000 per year. The question for the court then was whether a term should be implied into the rates agreement so that it would continue to apply if the refinery changed hands due to a corporate restructure. Their lordships found that a five-part test applied, and this has become the standard test applied where one party wants to imply a term into a contract for the sake of business efficacy. The elements of the test are, first, the term must be reasonable and equitable. So the courts will consider what is just when they are asked to imply a term. Second, it must be necessary to give business efficacy to the contract, so that no term will be implied if the contract is effective without it. In other words, the whole contract would need to fall apart without the implied term. Third, the implied term must be so obvious that it goes without saying. That's actually the phrase used in the judgment. Fourth, the implied term must be capable of clear expression, so the court or the parties must be able to say precisely what the implied term would be. And finally, the implied term must not contradict any express or written term of the contract. So in a fight between a written term and an alleged implied term, the written term will win every time. Applying these tests, their lordships found that there was an implied term that the rates agreement would continue if BP held at least a 30% stake in the refinery. They said, if an officious bystander had asked whether that was the common intention of the parties, the answer would have been, of course. The BP refinery is long gone now, but the legal principle remains. Mm -hmm.